we are back again and it's loader day i'm gonna try to come in here and concentrate on kind of cutting these slopes back a little bit more and getting them kind of tracked in and i may take some of this better stuff and try to top dress some of that uh i really need to cut that grass along the edge of the base rock and kind of shape that a little bit more because uh the loader started sliding sideways when I was on there the other day, so that tells me it's going to be a little too steep to mow. So it may not quite be a three to one by the time we get done, but we also got to make it what's going to be a little bit easier to mow or, and uh, work better for that. But uh, yeah, we'll just jump in the loader and start trying to shape this thing up and then we'll shoot great in the bottom here. And I'm hoping to get this cut out and maybe start even digging some of that out. But I'm hoping the majority just get everything kind of slicked up, dressed up, all the dirt that we're going to take out of here pretty much out. And uh, get it one step closer to being done.
here are my prints for this thing when i did it with a normal ruler it was a little bit different than what i got when i talked to brian 6180 and i know on the other prints when they got the one set for the box and stuff like that it's they say it's not to scale but i am kind of basing it off these numbers and they're saying this but you guys probably can't even see this the sewer lid right there is my benchmark basically the benchmark is just kind of your reference point to try to get your uh, elevations or grades on everything so it's at uh 1080.2 feet which i think we're where we're located at we're 180 feet above sea level is where they come up with that number so then this area right here is actually two tenths of a foot lower than what that manhole is and a lot of this stuff uh most blueprints come in tenths instead of inches. So there's 10 tenths and a foot instead of uh, 12 inches and a foot. So I'm not super familiar with this, but I ended up getting this, uh, well, this tenth stick or whatever like that. And it makes it a lot easier on figuring that out. So, and basically mine isn't gonna be the exact same number. I've got my laser set up over there and i'll put the stick and the receiver on the sewer lid and whatever that number is is my benchmark so what like i said whatever my number is we just know that this is two tenths uh, lower and then this section goes up by a foot and then every three feet you go over you go up a foot so that's kind of where so you'd measure up three feet and you go up be another foot and then you go three feet from there and be another foot and so on and so on and that's what they call a three to one slope so i think i mean this is pretty close i got a little bit more to cut there but i'm also fudging a little bit on that because i'm trying to make sure these guys are able to stay on there with a mower they may just have to mow up and down because it's pretty steep even in the loader it was slipping or sliding a little bit earlier and then uh, and I need to prep all the rocks off of it too. But then uh, I started kind of cutting a swell and right through here is going to be just a thing of riprap about five feet wide all the way to the bottom. I'm really supposed to have the bottom of this pond somewhere right through here, but that would make my slope even that much closer to that pole. And I don't think that pole was on their blueprints. So, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, they may not like that or go for it, but I'd, I feel better staying a little bit further away from that. Like I said, it's in the ground five or six feet and should be fine, but I don't want to keep cutting and loosening that up or someday that thing will shift and the bottom will kick out. So, I mean, this pond is uh, plenty big enough. It worked before and now we've doubled the size of it. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. I was trying to kind of... <laughs> go over the lasers i've had some questions on that and like i said a lot of this is for people that are new to it or wanting to know about the lasers yeah so like i said uh we'll go here to this manhole and i'll just show you on here where i set it at and then i've got to cut all that out that's where i've been backing it and lo loading so it's way too high the section where the loader's at and all that is pretty close it's a little low at this end of it and we'll just kind of take some shots on there and then I need to check my three and one on here. I know I'm pretty close, but uh, from this point, which is where the laser is pretty much at, down and around the corner, and then I got an orange mark over there, that bank actually needs to come up probably a foot or better on this end, and then it just gradually gets less and less, but that's what they call, that's this over here where it's uh, 1083.7 and it's flat that's what they call like the emergency spillway they're going to use that whole side <clears throat> and this end of right here for some reason it completely fills up with water and that box can't handle all of it it'll just start running over that but before it was just that little divot and then part of that corner but now they want to use the whole top of that berm but i've got to bring that up so that's why i didn't want to haul out all this dirt and then what i have left here I'm going to push up and kind of shape on there. So we'll probably, we'll take these shots where I can kind of go over that and then I'll get in the loader. I'm going to take that pile and start dumping up top. 
and then start cutting this and it's just piling up here I'm trying to get everything done with the loader today or for right now for this round though it'll i'll bring it back but i got a hydraulic leak on the pilot pump i think i got an o-ring that was starting it's just a drip so i noticed it earlier today it was leaking a little bit on the ground but so i'm going to try to just finish the day out and get some of this stuff moved and then i'll basically have the bottom and most of the sides pretty close to where i want uh the new box should be here tomorrow and i'll kind of go over that and some of it will make a little more sense i gotta take all that one out over there in the corner okay i apologize for the beeping but right there we're at uh five foot and like one tenth and that's sitting right in that manhole so like i said that's my benchmark so that's what i'm kind of basing all these heights off of so now this section is two tenths lower than what that manhole is okay in order to get the two tenths lower you move up on the number so the higher the number the lower the elevation is if that makes any sense because your your laser is where it's at so if, you know if this is, needs to be deeper it's got to go down uh on the stick and stuff like that versus up so as you can see quite a bit high right here it's close yeah it's still not close yeah i mean we're a little closer right there so i just kind of lean it over i know i got to cut all this down and then now now since we want to go higher than our benchmark this past this orange line is a foot higher so we're going to do four three but now you can see which like i said this end's just a touch low but right there as well so it's about two inches low there it starts getting a little higher it's almost just a hair too high right here's got a high spot in it which actually they got this whole thing as level but i think i'm gonna this side's gonna be just a touch higher which it is but that is kind of how you just walk around here and figure out See, that's low but that seems real touchy that is where it would need to be to be level right there so yeah anytime you go up on elevation the number gets smaller so it's just kind of it's just kind of backwards or whatever so the lower the number the higher the elevation is and the higher the number the lower the elevation is is the kind of the key thing to remember there on that